Okay, a second vlog. Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. Um, again, I just got off of work. Not too exciting. I have a couple hours to kill for an appointment. It's early in the morning and uh, let's see how my day goes. Behind me is the Quaker Meeting House on 15th Street in Rutherford Place in Manhattan. I'm a member of this religious group. I went to middle school here and I worked in the office for a while. It's closed due to COVID. Hey, so I'm in the East Village, nothing doing. I'm in the park. Uh, just wanted to show you the temperance fountain. They set that up to um, give free drinking water back in the day when everyone drank um, beer and gin because there wasn't good water available. Uh, it was turned off, the water, the pipes turned off for the winter. I got a coffee, but um, free water, it's good for you. I want you to think I'm never wearing my mask because it's definitely COVID season out here. I take it off when there's no one around and I want to talk. But, um, yeah, no, the mandate says uh, wear a disposable mask and then a cloth mask and stay six feet away from people and wash your hands and use hand sanitizer and um, limit who you go out with and uh, don't kiss dirty girls on the mouth and stay away from senior citizens because you could give them coronavirus um i don't know we're all just trying to stay alive i was a nursing student already i was an emt 10 years ago i'm like willing to respect the health mandates but um no i wear a mask like all day at work I wear a mask for my commute i don't wear a mask inside my own home i'm just getting on the train going to brooklyn like a normal person going to Brooklyn. Miss Suri, that's me. That's me. Alive and free. Here we go. Yeah, now that's a train. Mm-hmm. I'm in Brooklyn. My doctor's appointment was canceled. I ordered a sewing machine online from allbrands.com. See how that goes. Okay. Here is Historic Prospect Park. I'm not going in right now, but uh, I'm walking by. It's beautiful. Um, the Quaker meeting I showed you earlier. Um, we have a cemetery there that predates the park and contains bones from previous Quaker cemeteries in Lower Manhattan that had to be moved due to uh, the increasing size of New York City. Um, I used to, when I worked in the office, I maintained the database for the burial records using um, old-fashioned filing cabinet, but also um, uh, through this company, Pond Thames, we kept an ESRI database. ESRI is this uh, geographic image spacing software. I, um, I talked to an ESRI guy at a Hunter College career fair, and he was like amazed that anyone even knew what his products did. And of course there were like all these like uh, GIS majors. I don't even really know what they do. They do like maps. That's cool. I wanted to do maps as a kid. I used to draw maps all the time, but then working professionally on maps, like not much to it. You just like, you know, pinpoint the longitude and latitude of everyone's gravestone and um, still burying people there. It's a 
old friend, um, Arthur Burke, passed away at the beginning of the pandemic, and um, as far as I know, he's the last guy that we buried there, but um, old guy in his 90s, he, um, I guess he died of COVID, he was elderly and frail and very um, strong-willed. He had a sharp mind and um, he was very into this ministry of Jesus and uh, I don't know. miss him. I used to uh, take him in a cab. I'd get, I'd, I'd come over to where he lived on 18th Street and call an Uber and bring him. It cost me like 10 bucks. I'd like take the bus and walk to put him in an Uber to go a couple blocks from 18th Street to like 15th Street. But he was like in his 90s and he had a cane and, um, and he has a son who's developmentally disabled that I think members of the meeting look in on. I work in that field. I should like say hi sometime. Anyway. Anyway. Just walking. Let me put on my mask for some people. Can... Okay. I don't know if you can hear me, but um, I ordered a sewing machine. I'm gonna start making my own clothing. Uh, I kind of did as a teenager, using needle and thread, and um, I've now since seen what machines can do. Look at us on the internet, yeah, machines. Anyway, I ordered a sewing machine and I'm gonna make my own blue jeans because I can't get a pair of Levi's to last three months. and. Um, got some like high-end jeans but I don't, I don't know I feel weird like wearing like expensive designer jeans even though they never wear out they're better quality it's like people are like whoa why the fuck are you wearing something that I can't afford and I'm like you can you can but you've been like buying a $50 pair of Levi's every three months by $200 dollar pair of jeans in the last few 10 years but no one wants to hear that you know so then take it a step further $200 sewing machine and then I'll have a lifetime of pants and masks and hoodies and I don't even know like I think you have to, like, have a special machine to weave socks, but if I can make my own socks, I will. Anywho, it's a really beautiful day out. Really nice out, and, um, I want to say that I'm grateful for this nice early spring weather, late winter. It's, it's rather warm, and, uh, got done with work early, um, Got my weekend to look forward to. Nothing to worry about. Um, anything else? Not right now. I'm gonna go back to Queens. Clean my room. Read my textbook. I got to do a lot of reading last night slow night at work so you know it's all good it's all good I'm uh, happy as a clam happy as a clam for now for now anyway bye